Hello, welcome back to Paragon Ridge Ranch. Chrissy here. Today we're gonna build a goat shed lean-to for the goats in the buck pen. And I'm so excited that Preston's home from school today. It's Monday and he has decided to help me. Let's get this started. Preston and I gather some of our wood and we have two pieces that are eight foot long and these four foot pieces here. What we're gonna do is create an angle and on that angle, we're gonna cut one piece of wood. Continue to use that same exact angle on the tops of the other three pieces. So we have the same exact angle on all of them. Because if we did the exact right angle, it would have been too steep. We're gonna leave this one here. Gather your eight foot exactly piece right there and lay it across long ways. See all the angles match? We are building two sides of the goat lean to and then we'll bring them together out in the goat pen. We have our two vertical pieces here, shorter in the back, taller in the front, and then we have our horizontal piece for the roof. And we are going to go ahead and screw this in with our three inch carpenter screws. Okay, we are lined up exactly. Now we're gonna do a cross member across the bottom and I would like it to be at six inches. All right, so this is a pretty tall piece and a pretty short, show us the back, honey. A pretty short back, but it's okay. Pretty much eight by eight square, really high in the front. And I could bring some boards down like this crossways. So we are doing excellent for winging it. Once you got it and it grabs, you gotta push straight and then keep going full force. There you go. Once it grabs, you go full force. Um, so I just moved the seven footer. There's an eight footer right here. We're gonna grab that one. Over. So now we're just find another eight footer. We took the pre-built pieces that we had in the barn and we brought them out to the goat pen and started to assemble them to make the structure and make sure that it stands upright and that we can continue on with this project. Like that? Yeah. What do you think? Now we can do something across the top. Yeah. So we need eight more eight foot one. We did it! We built the structure and frame. Now we just need to do a couple more cross members and then come across the top and then do some of the roof members. And we
I decided to use wood as the wall covering on the back side of this goat shelter. I thought it would look better from the road and then it wouldn't be too much metal. I love the look of wood and metal together. This is an old gate that I built for another project and I thought I could use it on this one as well. Check out these cute goats. They're already trying to enjoy their shelter. They want to be involved in everything that we do. So at this point, I decided that I did the peak way too high. I had a couple days to think about it, and you'll see us right here. We're removing the roof piece, and then we're going to cut it down. So far, as you see it, I had a few days to think about it and it was way too high. It was gonna be a parachute. So I've never done an angle for a roof line before. I've been thinking about it, investigating it, and so I've changed it. This is the new goat shed. So the very front of it is about as high as I am. And then the back just nicely gradually goes down and it's about four foot. Perfect angle, not too tall, good pitch. So water runs off of it, and I think it's going to serve them well in the buck pen. We had this long piece of R panel left over from when we built our barn dominium, and now the trick is how are we going to cut it. Jeremy went to Harbor Freight, and he bought one of these metal cutters. Watch it. It does not work very well at all. Look at what a pain in the butt that is. All right, enough torture for my poor husband. So now he goes over to this little rotary blade, which works so much better. Totally time consuming, but it works so much better for this project. All right, here is the finished product. We decided to leave the sides open and the doorway completely open for the summertime because it gets over 100 degrees here for two, three months at a time. The goats have already been enjoying it for about a month now. This swing door was intended to put in to actually enclose them if I ever needed to during a storm or if I need to do something special with them. But we decided to actually affix it permanently and use it as a wind block from the south. This is the wind block from the north, so they won't get any of that north wind. So we're leaving it open for the summer so they can get some cross air in there, but they will definitely be protected from the wind and they will definitely be protected from the rain, which is coming right now. And they have been using it heavily. So much for watching this video today if you haven't please hit subscribe and go ahead and hit the little dingle bell so you're alerted every single time we upload new content hope you have a wonderful day bye bye Mwah.